In this short tutorial, I will walk you through how to trigger a Python notebook on Databricks from Talent Studio. So let's get started. First step, you will create a new notebook using Python and give it a name. You should also decide whether or not you want to attach it to a specific cluster, like this version 10 single node that I have here. So now I'm going to paste two lines of code here. And the important part of what I'm trying to do here is to fetch a parameter. I can do it with one parameter or, or with many uh, by using this uh, dbutils, Databricks utils widget that can fetch a parameter from wherever the job is executed. I'm going to use this parameter then to print it on the screen. So we will be able to see the parameter that I'm going to pass from Talent Studio as the job runs. Next step will be to go into workflows and create a new job. Now in this job, I'm going to give that job a name. I'm going to select the notebook that I wanted. And I'm going to decide if I want to attach it to a specific cluster. It can also run on a new cluster every time. Once the job is created, I have a job ID that I can copy and use later in my Talent Studio. Let's move over to Talent Studio. So in Talent Studio, I have this data integration job that I'm going to use to trigger the Python notebook in Databricks while also passing parameters and then monitoring the result of that job. I'm going to first run the job. And after that, I will try to explain a bit more in details what it does. So in order to run this job, I have to configure four parameters um, to, to get this to work. First thing I have to do is use the job ID that I just created and copied from Databricks. The other thing is my personal access token, which you can get from uh, the Databricks console. And then I need to decide which parameter I'm going to um, pass. If you remember in the Python notebook, we had a parameter that was called triggered by, and I'm going to pass the value from talent. So it should be printed at the end of the notebook. Of course, you can pass more than one parameters in a key value type manner. Let's run this now. Okay, so the job completed. Let's take a look quickly at what happened and what the job did uh, from the log. The first thing that he did was we made a call to see uh, the status of the job. So you get some specific information from Databricks about the job that you're about to run. Then uh, the job started to run. And while it was running, or if in, in some other cases, it will be waiting for a, a cluster to be created, it will write pending and then the status changed to running. In this case, because my cluster was already running, it was pretty quick. The job completed very quickly and then uh, it was terminated. So the way the job is built is basically three API calls to the Databricks API. The first one is to get the information about the job that I want to run. The second one is to trigger the job run. And then finally, I'm going to loop and wait for the job to complete. And if it fails or succeeds, I will get uh, the indication and will print it to the screen. Now let's go to Databricks and see if the job did what we expected it to do and printed that it was triggered by talent. So as you can see, I'm going to my jobs and the job that ran right now is this one. If we click on it, it was successful. If we click on it, we'll also be able to see what it printed. And as you can see, the Python script printed from talent. That means that it was triggered by Talent Studio. Of course, in this type of manner, I can uh, pass more than one parameter. I can pass as many as I want and use them within my Python script uh, in the same way. Thank you for watching.